In Business Central, documents are numbered by what's called the number series. Let's have a look. The number series is a table of all of the different numbering that's used within the system and the re relevant rules that relate to that configuration. Against each series, for example, let's say a invoice. I can see here a posted invoice. Against this, I can have multiple number series underneath this. I'm going to click on the number series and I can see here that we have a starting date and we have a date last used. There's also a field here for an ending date, which is hidden. What this means is that you can have a starting number that runs for this year and one for next year, one for next year, one for and so on. So number series uh, allow you to do many different things. We have customers that will have a different number series by the different item template. For example, let's go to item templates. And against this item template, we're going to, we've got a few here. I'm going to create one, which is called number series example. Okay, and I now need to create a number series for this. I'm going to click new. I'm going to call this item NOS. I'm going to click on the starting number and we're going to set it. And the starting number is going to be item NOS EG001. The ending number is going to be 999. Uh, the starting number is zero. And the last item used, number used is zero. Do we allow gaps in the numbers? No. We're going to increment by one. In this setup here, we're allowing this item number to be the default. So the default here specifies if this number series will be assigned the numbers automatically, which it will. And will we allow for manual entry overriding this? We've now created a number for the item template number series example. The base unit of measure needs to be entered. We're just going to create that as a piece. I'm going to set some posting groups up. I'm just going to use this as retail and uh, GST, inventory, and off we go. And this is going to be a non-inventory item. All right, so we've created a template. Now, the thing to note here is a standard item uses the number series from the inventory setup. If I now go and create an item and I'm using one that uses my example, you'll notice the item number is going to change. And straight away when we create it from this template, a number is already created, ITM NOS EG001. So this example item was numbered by the number series that was elected for it. The same applies to customer templates, vendor templates, item templates. Um, you can apply the same to custom extensions, and you also have the same that applies to sales and uh, we're going to say sales setup sales and receivable setup. Underneath here, you'll see that we can set and control all of the number series that are used within the system for the sales workflow. If we go to purchase setup, you'll see the same again. Against the number series, which is used for the whole purchase workflow. Every setup, accordingly within the system, outlines its own number series to be selected which gives you the power to really choose what your document numbers will be when your workflows trigger creation of those said documents.